Good evening. This is Warning 616 and Quill and Embry. The boys wouldn't leave me alone until I made this video. Canada, don't kill wolves for tar sands. So this is less you think I'm picking on the states. It goes in, on in Canada as well, all the time. There's several issues here. I'm going to begin with this one. Tell the Canadian government, stop your tar sands wolf kills. It just gets worse and worse. To make up for the fact that rapid tar sands oil mining is threatening caribou herds, by destroying vast swaths of rainforest habitat in Alberta, so they say, the Canadian government has called for strychnine poisoning and aerial shooting of thousands of wolves in areas of tar sands mining. Tell Prime Minister Harper, stop Canada's planned wolf killings. If Alberta, Canada's tar sands oil fields are fully developed, an area of boreal rainforest the size of Florida will be eviscerated, leaving in its wake only giant ponds of toxic wastewater. It's obvious why this would pose a massive threat to all wildlife species who reside there, including birds, caribou, and the iconic white spirit bear. But instead of preserving the habitat caribou need for their survival, the Canadian government's answer is to blaze ahead with tar sands oil extraction and kill thousands of wolves who would naturally prey on the caribou. Okay, this misguided cruel response is just sickening. Credo action http backslash backslash act dot credo action dot com backslash campaign black backslash tar underscore sands underscore wolves backslash they've got a petition sign the petition sign the petition okay that's not all Wildlife News, www.thewildlifenews.com. Okay, February 22nd, 2012. Idaho's Wolf Kill Bill, S1305, makes it out of committee by Ken Cole for the Wildlife News. He says, I just got out of the Idaho Senate and Resources Committee meeting where they discussed S1305, which allows ranchers to kill wolves in many different ways. They voted to send the bill to the floor with a due pass recommendation. One interesting comment was made by Republican Senator Tippetts, who said that he had dinner with U.S. Representative Mike Simpson last night. Simpson told him the passage of this bill might end up putting wolves back on the endangered species list. Senator Tippetts voted for passage anyway, along with every other Republican on the committee. Senators Burke and Stennett, both Democrats, moved to hold the bill in committee, but they were overruled. Again, contact Idaho legislature. It's from Global Animal. Montana governor throws tantrum, commands wolf killing, take action. Oh, God. Oh my god. Okay. www.globalanimal.org February 16th, 2011, Montana. In a letter of rage sent to Interior Secretary Ken Salazar, Montana Governor Brian Schweitzer has threatened to disrespect the Endangered Species Act by allowing entire packs of gray wolves to be slaughtered. His justification complaints from hunters and cattle ranchers. Perhaps he doesn't realize that bowing down to these interest groups' demands are the reason why we have only 1,700 gray wolves left in the region. Okay, so again, take action. Urge your U.S. representative to respect the Endangered Species Act and protect wolves. You can get the backstory on the struggle of Montana's gray wolves to maintain legal protection and sign the petition to keep violence 
such as that promised by Governor Schweitzer, away from these important citizens of our wild world. And then breaking news, gray wolves will stay on the endangered species list for now. But, you know, that's only a breathing, a moment of breathing time. Read about the plight of wolves in Alaska and sign the petition to help wolves slaughtered by aerial hunting at programs. Sarah Palin was a huge proponent of slaughtering wolves by aerial kill to protect caribou and actually protect the enormous revenue generated by out-of-state caribou and moose hunters. This is www. Oh, that was my statement, by the way. I lived in Alaska. I know about Palin's wolf policy. This is www.globalanimal.org, and they offer a petition. We're not done. Howling for Justice, wonderful website. Oh, howlingforjustice.wordpress.com. Urgent, take action, Wisconsin wolves under siege. 507 fallen wolves. This is, can't see it with my bloody poor camera, but this candle's lit for 507 fallen wolves. Idaho wolf witch hunt. Update, March 5th, 2012. That's just today. Let's get busy today and contact as many Wisconsin senators and representatives as possible. The assembly vote is tomorrow, March 6th. I wish I'd known about this sooner. We can do this, but tomorrow you can still sign the CARE2 petition included in this post. And no matter what happens, things can be overturned. Just howl and scream, everyone. Howling for Justice, that's the blog. Howling for Justice, blogging for the Grey Wolf. Okay. So, this is another picture. The big bad wolf was framed. Action alert. Idaho Senate poised to vote, vote on S1305. Okay, this is warning 6162 wolves and quill and embry. I know we're such an incredible community. There isn't one of us without a tremendous heart for justice. In native tradition, wolves stand for voice. They stand for speaking. They stand for community. They stand for environment. Many native traditions say that if the wolves are wiped out, the environmental cause will be lost. It's a very distinct and powerful spiritual connection between wolves teaching, protecting the environment. We love wolves. This is, while I'm on that topic, also, please sign any and all petitions having to do with protecting all endangered wildlife, and that includes the much maligned coyote. Thanks very much. With much love, thank you. I will put the links with this video. This is two wolves. Ooh, and my astral wolves, Quill and Embry. Out.